here is Van Color Match. It is Rosine's Indian Ink. And will be our dark contrast color. Oh wow. That's really dark. And I love it. Now don't judge me for my paint stick. I know. But she's pretty blue. My initial reaction is that it's quite a bit brighter. Um, it was colour matched really well, so I think it will dry maybe a bit darker. Um, we shall see. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if that's doing anything. Um, yeah, but we're going to now paint this shelf. I won't move the camera just yet. Oh, and see how it goes. But, whew, I'm tired, guys. It's been, it's been a time um, since I've videoed and given a bit of a spiel. Um, I'm tired of this shelf. Um, I'm really excited now that I'm onto the final coat. I haven't done much videoing because um, it's kind of got me down, to be honest. Because <laughs> of the bore, it's full of bore. So one half of me, one half of me is like, what's the point? Because the bore is probably really well ingrained and it's going to fall apart eventually anyway. But then the other half of me is like, this is one cool shelf, so I want to do it justice. I'm really excited. So I'm now on that side of things. Um, and also you're getting me after a week of really poor quality sleep. Um, so I think if I was a bit more... Had a bit more sleep, I'd feel a bit better. But anywho, I'm going to start painting this little beauty. <laughs> Hopefully that caught me on camera. Hello friends. Um, so I've just finished painting the second coat of the shelf. First of all, first of all, I have to apologise for the erraticness of these videos. Um, it's just really hard to video and keep up with it and um, so it's probably a little bit all over the place at the moment and to be honest that is a really good reflection of what is happening with us right now we are all over the place um i probably need to sit down and explain um pretty much what's going on really um i don't know if i have in another video um but just in case I haven't, um, we've started phase two of our renovation. So phase one was the um, bathroom, laundry and hot water cylinder. And phase two is the garage, kids' bedroom, hallway. And I've added into that phase an interim kitchen. And on top of that, we were given a, an amazing shelf, which I am re What do you call it? Up, not upholstering, that's when you have your furniture. Redoing. <laughs> um, so we've got a lot on at the moment and it's pretty hectic. I've just come out of summer holidays and during that time I was very productive before Christmas um, in ripping, ripping cork up, I don't know, doing stuff for the house, getting organised for Christmas. Um, Kyle was really productive doing some stuff. Um, and then kids went back to daycare and I got bursitis on my elbow so I couldn't do anything to do with renovating um, and that kind of was the end of the school holidays and was pretty stink actually to end that way but here we are so I had planned to finish this in that week but my body must have been saying slow down I'll give you an injury so you have to sit down and rest but it didn't didn't make one feel that great but anywho um so now I'm doing this after hours as much as possible just to get it done because I've got things coming up but I just need this to be sorted at least um and when I say this I mean the shelf but um yeah so in the meantime the interim kitchen is nearly done which is super cool um I will have to reveal that shortly 
but I am so happy with it. Um, we have one bench, uh, we have one coloured floor, and we have some more shelves, which is amazing. Um, and I've been able to organise the kitchen, how it works for our family, and it's great. It's so cool. Um, but I do need to do a declutter there at some stage and get rid of some of the stuff that um, we don't need. Um, but I think it's pretty minimal now. I think I'm pretty happy with what we have in the kitchen. Um, it would just be renewing things from now on, really, like getting nicer plates and stuff. But we're not in a rush to do that because our kids are pretty little. Anywho, this is a big talk. Um, but in the meantime, Carl's been working on the hallway and he's done such a great job. I'm so proud of him. Um, he took a week of leave off work to work on the house. Um, that guy has not had a holiday, um, well he has had a holiday, we did have a bit of a break, but not a really relaxing one, because you know what it's like at Christmas, but, um, yeah, so, he's just such a hard worker when it comes to the renovations, which is really cool, because we're both on the same page with it, which is neat, um, we could not do this if we were both not into it, I would not advise to do it if you didn't, weren't both into this kind of thing, but anyhow, um, so I'll have to reveal what we've done in the hallway so far, but it's a bit of a tricky one to do because it's around the kids' bedrooms and generally we work at night time and I video at night time because my kids will not appear on these videos and uh, it's by the bedrooms so I don't want to wake them up. So maybe I'll just video and then I'll voice talk over it. That could be a solution. Anyway, haha, -ha, you thought I was going to say anywho. <laughs> Here is the shelf. <laughs> There we go. So on the camera it's looking a lot bluer. It's actually darker. That's probably a bit more of an accurate, let's say it's accurate colour. But there's the shelves. And these shelves have been the bane of my existence in terms of sanding down. Because this is how they started. They started with this, so they had three, le um, someone had done the distress look on them and they had three levels of, three levels, layers of paint. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's just next level, but it's organised chaos, but it's just, I need everything that's up there. That will get cleaned up once I'm finished, but anyhow, here's the shelf. Um, so Carl's cut down MDF pieces there, so... My first thing is to finish this. Then after that I will do the doors, because these have doors, and the back and the shelves all in one go. But I need to get this. Oops, this will probably help. There we go. It's, she's a big one. She's 2.4 metres long. Um, but anywho, I need to do this carcass, and then I can move this out to put some room down. And I'm going to clean this up a bit once this is gone. And lay all the doors down somehow on plastic, I think, and paint the hair can do them all in one day kind of situation. And the backing. And then that's the bottom done. And once I've finished that, I'm going to not work on the top of the shelf. I'm going to move to our hallway door, which is the same colour as the shelf. Um, and complete that, because that we want to finish, because Kyle's done so much work of with it he's brushed the brass door handles that we bought off trade me so that cost minimal which is cool because those door handles are expensive if you buy them first you know from the factory or whatever um so we spent like a week brushing those every night um and so it's gonna look beautiful with this dark blue very excited so that's the next job after that for me and then my job after that is the top of the shelves because I need to get the shelf out of the weather before winter comes in in autumn and then after that I have to plaster the hallway <laughs> and wallpaper a bit of it pa paint then wallpaper so I'm probably like zoning out here this is a big chat but I haven't had a big chat for a long time so enjoy um so we're gonna start on my, our children's our bedrooms um we're gonna replace the windows but that's a yarn for another day. Right now, I can hear rain. Which is super not ideal. It could be creaking. So this is open air. This is why I painted today, because there's been no rain. And it was quite cool. It was 
perfect day for painting. Um, it's definitely raining. <laughs> what I'll do is there's no wind, so I don't think that there is any um, chance of it coming in here. But before I go to bed, I'll put the drop cloth over it. So I'll move the drop cloth so it's not... Um, That's gotta be right. Um, yeah, I'll put the drop cloth over, drop cloth over, over it. Anyway, that's my cue to get out of here because I can't even speak properly. And I gotta do this from dinner. Usually this is done before the kids go to bed, but tonight's routine has been a little bit of out because our youngest was really tired and just needed attention really, and I was painting. <gasps> Mm. So I'm just hopping into bed and I wanted to record this feeling I'm having right now which is <laughs> um, one of just so so much happiness because I was away today and I took the kids away and Kyle finished hanging our daughter's door onto her bedroom and I'd just gone in to say and I, you know, I tuck the kids in and stuff like that before I go to bed. And I opened two doors. No big deal. It's a massive deal. <laughs> um, instead of a sliding door that I actually just was like, is this a trumpet announcing my arrival into their bedrooms every night? Yes. Um, but these doors were amazing. So quiet. So sneaky. Um... Yeah, so I just, just wanted to document this feeling because I know I will forget it over time because we will forget that we used to have sliding doors there that were a pain, that were every second panel had mustard stained glass windows so we had to tape it up with black, like, uh, plumber's tape. It looked hideous. It was terrible. My daughter started peeling it off at the end and it just looked, you know, let all the light in and there was no sound barriers. Anyhow. Just wanted to document how stoked I am at having a door into each of the bedrooms where our children sleep. So, yay for progress. Um, we've got a way to go, but it, you got to celebrate the small milestones like this because otherwise it's just, yeah, you know, it's hard. Anyhow, bye. <laughs>